Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Welcome to the next of our videos in our series on IGCSE Geography. This is episode 3.7. In today's lesson, we will be learning about the environment. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. Pollution, what is it? Pollution can take many forms. Air, water, soil, noise, and visual. We can divide pollution into two sections. Incidental pollution, this is one-off pollution typically caused by a one-off disaster or event. For example the Chernobyl nuclear meltdown. Sustained pollution, this is persistent long-term pollution typically caused by factories or industry. First, let's talk about air pollution. Air pollution is the contamination of air by smoke and harmful gases, mainly oxides of carbon, sulfur, and nitrogen. Examples of air pollution are 1. Exhaust fumes from vehicles 2. The burning of fossil fuels, such as coal, oil, or gas 3. Harmful off-gassing from things such as paint and plastic production 4. Radiation spills or nuclear accidents Next, water pollution Water pollution is the contamination of any body of water. For example lakes, groundwater, and oceans. Examples of water pollution are 1. Raw sewage running into lakes or streams. 2. Industrial waste spills contaminating groundwater. 3. Radiation spills or nuclear accidents. 4. Illegal dumping of substances or items within bodies of water. 5. Biological contamination, such as bacteria growth. 6. Farm runoff into nearby bodies of water. Now, let's talk about noise pollution. Noise pollution is any loud sounds that are either harmful or annoying to humans and animals. Some examples of noise pollution are, 1. Airplanes, helicopters, and motor vehicles. 2. Construction or demolition noise. 3. Human activities such as sporting events or concerts. Noise pollution can be disruptive to human stress levels, may be harmful to unborn babies, and drives animals away by causing nervousness and decreasing their ability to hear prey or predators. It can even disrupt breeding patterns. Next, light pollution. Light pollution is the brightening of the night sky inhibiting the visibility of stars and planets by the use of improper lighting of communities. Some examples of what causes light pollution are 1. Street lamps that shine light in all directions, instead of with a hood to point light downward toward the street. 2. Extra, unnecessary lights around the home. 3. Cities that run lights all night long. Light pollution uses more energy, it may affect human health and our sleep cycles. It can also affect animal behavior. We must think, to what extent have economic activities posed threats to the natural environment, on a local and global scale? Some of the environmental threats of economic activities are as follows. Food production, leaching of landfill contents, destruction of soil, chemical sprays used in food production, deforestation of many areas, and air pollution from machines. Some of the effects of the pollution include the loss of habitat for animals, acid rain, the creation of greenhouse gases, impacts on food chains, global warming, and atmospheric pollution. What economic activities cause pollution? Firstly, tourism. This is through 1. The destruction of habitats. 2. Damage to corals. 3. Increased pollution from travel. 4. It kills natural habitats by building hotels. 5. The litter generated by tourists can kill animals. Next, water supply. 1. It drowns and kills species. 2. Affects biodiversity and wildlife. 3. Climate change may lead to drought, 
drying out certain areas. 4. Water supply becomes poisonous from mixing with sewage and chemical waste. Finally, let's look at energy production. This activity causes pollution in the following way. 1. Transporting fuels creates pollution. 2. Pollution created by using energy supplies. 3. Fracking from the ground. 4. Visual pollution from the factories. 5. Noise pollution from the factories. Now let's look at local versus global pollution. The local effect of air pollution can include. Heavy metal contaminants can affect the brain development of children. Greenhouse gases can lead to climate change. Toxic air pollutants can cause cancer. And can give people asthma attacks. Water pollution can cause the following effects locally. Eutrophication from nitrates kills water animals. Increasing cancer rate from anti-cancer medicines in the sewage getting into the water supply. It may lead to the destruction of ecosystems. Chemical sprays and fuel leaks may contaminate. Noise pollution can affect the local population in the following ways. Increases human blood pressure. Reduces the ability to sleep. High decibels can affect animals' hearing. It may cause behavioral problems as animals use sound for signals. But moving on from local effects, now let's look at the global impacts of pollution. Can you think of the main threats to our natural environment by looking at these pictures? What is the enhanced greenhouse effect which is leading to global warming? The enhanced greenhouse effect, sometimes referred to as climate change or global warming, is the impact on the climate from the additional heat retained due to the increased amounts of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases that humans have released into the Earth's atmosphere since the Industrial Revolution. What are the consequences of global warming? The killing of coral reefs, the increase of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere creates carbonic acid in waters which will kill coral reefs. Melting of ice caps and glaciers, this can lead to sea levels rising by further than 5 meters which will affect millions of people living in coastal areas. There will be more heat waves occurring in temperature variations. Animal species will become more at risk of extinction, such as polar bears in the Arctic. Now let's look at soil erosion and desertification. What is soil erosion? This is the wearing away of a field's topsoil by the natural physical forces of water and wind or through forces associated with farming activities. What is desertification? The turning of land into a desert due to human activities. The causes of desertification include Removal of vegetation cover Overgrazing Uncontrolled fuel wood collection Unsustainable farming practice and loss in fertility of the soil Excessive tree felling So, how do we conserve resources? Through sustainable development Sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs Examples of sustainable development are Solar energy. The greatest advantages of solar energy are that it is completely free and is available in limitless supply. Replacing non-renewable energy with this type of energy is both environmentally and financially effective. Waste reduction and recycling. This involves recovering waste and reusing them instead of new materials, for example reusing plastic bags. Green spaces. These include parks and other areas where plants and wildlife are encouraged to thrive. These spaces also offer the public great opportunities to enjoy outdoor recreation, especially in dense, urban areas. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.